Hi friends of cocktails. Today we have a very special episode. We're going to make two spritz cocktails. But as much as I love our cocktail time studio, I feel like the setting could be a bit better. So when Fiol reached out and invited us to Treviso, the home of Prosecco, I gladly accepted. So hold tight, we're taking cocktail time on the road for this one. I think this can wait here. It's cocktail travel time. Treviso is nestled in the heart of the Veneto region, in northern Italy. It offers a tantalizing journey through the authentic taste of Italian cuisine. With vibrant food markets and commitment to locally sourced ingredients, this charming city feels like the right location for the first ever cocktail time excursion. So, we are more than honored to be welcomed at the breathtaking Villa Tiepolo Pass, a 17th century Veneto villa on the outskirts of Treviso, and still the beloved home of its owners, the noble Conti Passi Petroposulo family. It offers an exquisite starting spot for our exploration of Treviso, where I'll be looking for some ingredients for two delicious spritz cocktails, inspired by local cuisine. We'll first make the basil spritz by Eric Hakkinen, then I'll make a signature olive fuel spritz. I couldn't bring everything on my cart, so let's go and see if I can find some lemons, olive oil and basil. Treviso captivates visitors with its rich culinary heritage, of which Prosecco is of course the most famous example. I'll tell you about another one at the end of the episode. For now, let's grab some lemons basil and extra virgin olive oil. We also need some strawberries, balsamic vinegar and some Marobus tea, but that's for another time. As much as I'm enjoying this, it's time to head back and start with the first cocktail. Okay, maybe an espresso before I go. With everything we need for both cocktails of the day, let's first check out the ingredients for the basil spritz. We'll mix dry gin, pear liqueur, lemon juice, some fresh basil leaves, soda water and fuel. Fuel was founded in 2010 by three lifelong friends all born in Treviso, with a passion for good wine and the Italian way of life. Fuel's wine vision flavor profile and quality control is overseen by Marzio Paul, an expert in the wine and sparkling wine industry, who has overseen more than 50 harvests. The fuel logo was inspired by the wine poles created to support the plant, showcasing symbols of strength and tradition. Fuel Prosecco is made from 100% Clara grapes, and it has a floral, fruity and slightly acidic aroma. It's lively and refreshing, with a nice balance of acidity combining both savory and sweet flavors, ending on notes of Mediterranean spices and lemons. The bubbles are incredibly fresh and long-lasting, but also create a wonderful and playful mouthfeel with a soft finish. It embodies the essence of what Prosecco can and should be. I really look forward to enjoying it in both cocktails today, starting with the basil spritz. First, fill a wine glass with ice to chill it. The basil spritz was created by Eric Hakkinen at Washington's bar Hitchcock. It's easy to remember the amounts as we have equal parts of all three ingredients that go into the shaker, starting with half an ounce or 15 ml of dry gin. Next, the same amount, half an ounce or 50 ml of pear liqueur. This one is 25% ABV. Fun fact, there are four different varieties of pears grown in the Veneto region. Then another half an ounce or 50 ml of lemon juice. Super juice is great, but there's also something about freshly squeezed lemons right after you got them from the market. And this wouldn't be a basil spritz without some basil. So add four to five basil leaves into the shaker. Give it a spank, there's no need to model it, as ice will do that for us. The harder you shake, the better. Then double strain it into the chilled wine glass over ice. Then first add the reason we're here, fuel, 3 ounces or 90 ml. In the ancient Phoenician language, the word fuel means son or young boy, but it's also used among friends to refer to someone that stands out and who knows how to appreciate life. And lastly, as with all spritz cocktails, soda water. 1 ounce or 30 ml. Gently lift the cocktail with a bar spoon, so we're not losing bubbles while stirring. I hope you got enough basil, because we'll need a few nice bright green leaves to garnish the cocktail. Beautiful. Before we move on to a signature spritz with basil and olive oil, I take a few sips of this just to cool down a bit. The sun is a bit stronger here than at the studio, but as I say around here, 
Così è la vita. Saluti! Basil gives it a nice herbal aroma and it's also really present on the palate, making for a wonderful combination with pear. Crisp dry gin and bright lemon juice give it a summer feel and the combo of fuel and soda water make the whole thing a light and effervescent day sipper. So even if it's not quite cocktail time yet, we have you covered with spritz cocktails. And if you like Italian food, I know you'll love this next one, the olive fuel spritz. Yes, olive oil and basil can make more than just pesto. To make the olive fuel spritz, you'll need the star of the day, Fiol Prosecco, dry vermouth, a homemade olive and basil syrup, a little saline solution and soda water to top up. For garnish, we'll coat the glass with a little lemon dust. So before we start pouring the Prosecco in the glass, we need to make the lemon dust for the garnish and our olive oil syrup with a little basil. Speaking of pouring, it looks like it will rain, so we'll move the set. To make the olive oil and basil syrup, you'll of course need olive oil, basil, sugar and water but also xanthan gum and gum arabic to keep everything in solution and have proper texture. To start, I'll first blanch 10 grams of basil to make sure our syrup keeps a vibrant green color, otherwise it would turn brownish pretty fast. To do that, simply place the basil in boiling hot water for 15 seconds, then submerge it into an ice bath for one minute. This process stops enzyme actions, which otherwise causes loss of flavor, color and texture. In addition, blanching removes some surface dirt and microorganisms and helps slow vitamin losses. To this blanched basil, you will add 240 grams of water and blend it using a stick blender. Then, to strain out the solid particles, filter the basil water through a fine strainer. Once filtered, weigh out 200 grams of this basil water. To make our next ingredients easier to mix and fully dissolve, place the water on medium heat, then add 150 grams of extra virgin olive oil. Using best stuff really makes a difference here. Follow with 2.7 grams of gum arabic and 0.3 grams of xanthan gum. Help everything mix in and dissolve with another roll of the stick blender. Once we have a homogeneous mixture, it's time to add the sugar. 200 grams, same as water, of plain white sugar. This time I'll mix this in with a whisk. It shouldn't take too long to dissolve, thanks to the warm mixture. You can definitely make it faster by using the stick blender again. But keep in mind that it will foam up and it would take some time for the bubbles to settle. Once everything is dissolved and in solution, give it a try. You probably don't make basil and olive oil syrup every day. Then bottle it in a labeled bottle and that's it. Beautiful olive green color with a pleasantly herbal and oily aroma. It's incredibly smooth and very aromatic. You can use this recipe to make a syrup from other types of oil or fat as well, like peanut, avocado or coconut oil or even bacon fat. As you see, there was no point in fighting nature. So welcome into the Villa Tiepolo Passi itself. Moving on to the garnish. For this, you just need a lemon and a peeler. Heat and some time. Make sure you give your lemon a good wash before you peel it. Once you have your lemons completely peeled, place the peels on direct Veneto sunshine so they dry out completely. You know what? A dehydrator or an oven set to the lowest temperature works perfectly fine as well. Once completely dried, Crush the peels with a mortar and pestle into a fine powder, one may say a lemon dust. Transfer to a small container. And we are finally ready to make the olive fuel spritz. No shaker this time, but grab your glass and let's take care of the garnish before we chill it. To do that, take a thin brush and use it to add a strip of lemon juice on the outside of the wine glass. Then dust this part of the glass with dehydrated lemon peel powder. Ideally, do this beforehand so you can place the glass in the freezer and have it chilled when you start making the cocktail. Thank you, dear. Glad you made the trip. Then fill the glass with ice and start adding the ingredients. First, 3 ounces or 90 ml of Fiol Prosecco. Pour this award-winning ambassador of Italian excellence slowly and at an angle. Follow that with half an ounce or 50 ml of dry vermouth. It will add additional crisp, tart flavors, pairing nicely with the Fiol Prosecco. Next, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half ml of our olive oil syrup. I already made a cocktail with olive oil but making a flavored syrup with it is something new. To enhance all flavors, we add salt, just like with cooking. This is two drops of 20% saline solution. And lastly, to make it a spritz, a splash of soda water. Let's call it one ounce or 30 ml. Now go in with a bar spoon and gently lift and mix all ingredients of our cocktail. With that, the olive fuel spritz is ready, as we already have the garnish on the outside of the glass. I just close the doors to keep the mosquitoes out. And now we drink. Saluti! Aroma is similar to that of the basil spritz, herbal, but here we also get notes of olive oil and citrus. On the palate, 
The only fuel spirits is full bodied and refreshing. Driver mood adds a nice freshness that blends perfectly with the fuel. We made an elegant and unique spritz. With that, you've made it to the bottom of the glass of this special episode. To let me know you've stuck around till the end, drop a bottle with popping cork emoji in the comments. You're a real fuel if you do. And since we're in Treviso, did you know that besides being the home of Prosecco, and of course fuel, it's also the birthplace of Teremisu. A delicious coffee flavored dessert. I don't have a cocktail with Teremisu yet, but you can check out how to make a donut old fashioned and a brown in Manhattan. I'll see you next week. Buon appetito!